Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. So in the description below, you'll find a link to several prior videos where I'm doing load development for the 6.5 Creedmoor with the 140 grain ELD match bullet and 40.7 grains of H4350 powder. Okay, here's a load that I just shot at the range, and it's a 140 grain Hornady ELD match bullet with 40.7 grains of H4350 powder. And we've got an extreme spread of 0.26, a mean radius of 0.1. It covers an area of 0 0.04 inches. Our velocity was 2,626 and a standard deviation of 7.1. Not bad shooting, even if I do say so myself. The rest of these groups were just kind of so-so, but the reason this group was so tight was because of the development that I did on this. So I want to give you just a brief recap of how I got to that. So it started off with watching a video by Eric Cortina titled Chasing the Lands is Stupid or something like that, I think. But he talked about doing a seating depth test, uh, which I have done. So what I did is I decided to do increments of 10 thousandths and then I came back where it looked pretty good and I zeroed in on either side of that. I was shooting that same powder H4350 at 40.7 grains with the Hornady ELD match. So I started off at 20 thousandth off of the lands and I went to 90 thousandths. And so I found a node here that looked pretty good um, with an overall length of 2.872. And there was another one down here uh, at a length of 2.812. So I decided to go test this one at 2.872 to see how that performed. Okay, so that actually had a cartridge base to ogive of 2.235. So I uh, loaded up another 10 rounds plus five fouling shots and I shot this group and it strung pretty good horizontally, but yet it was a 1.28 extreme spread with a mean radius of just 0.43 inches. And this was 21 thousandths off of the riflings plus or minus one or two thousandths. But I loaded these with a cartridge based to OJAV of 2.235. And I said, well, that probably is not the load I'm looking for. So I went back here to where I was 80 thousandths off. And this was at an overall length of 2.812 inches. So I went back and I loaded that at 2.812. And then I went 3 thousandths on either side of that to 2.815, 2.818 more. And then on the less, I went 2.809, 2.806. And the group that I found that shot the best was right here at 2.815. And so I went back and I loaded some additional rounds, but this time I loaded at 2.814. And these were at 2.179 cartridge base to ogive. I shot these 10 shots, which were a little better. We had a 1.18 um, extreme spread and a 0.39 mean radius. So I decided to do one other thing. So I went back and I checked the length on all of my cases and I loaded 10 rounds and I made sure that every one of the cases were exactly the same length. I loaded 10 rounds using that load and then I shot these 10 shots. I had an extreme spread of 1.35 because of this flyer right here. But as you can see here, every one of these shots are touching in one single cluster. Minus the flyer, the group had a size, and there was one here off to the side. Minus the flyer, the group had a size of 0.8 inches, a mean radius of 0.26, and it covered an area of 0.36 inches. So that's how I got to this load, and these were all loaded at 2.179 inches for the cartridge base to OJAV. So that's the process that I went through to get me to here, and it looks like it's paid off. Now the thing is, do I want to explore some of these other cartridges as well? Because this uh, 140 Nosler ballistic tip was pretty tight right here with four out of five, pretty much on this, um, at the point of aim right here with one, with one flyer off to the side. 
And then the Sierra at 40.7 was pretty tight with four shots here within a half an inch and one flyer off here to the side. So I may have to look into those and do a little experimenting there. But that's the process. That's how I got to the 40.7 grains and the 140 grain ELD match. That one seems to be a winner. So I will probably continue to practice with that particular round. And we will continue to develop these and look at some higher charge weights as well. If you have any ideas, thoughts, questions, please leave those in the comments below. I try to interact with everybody that comments. I hope you will also like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.